to STA Academy. Today we are going to discuss about top 20 MCQ questions, very important MCQ question for NEET 2022 exams. Before going to start the video, I would like to tell you if you are new, please subscribe to our channel for more important questions of NEET 2022. Let us see the first question out of two. Before starting that, I would like to tell you in this Top 20 question I have given from the chapter straight line, units of measurement and motion in a plane. These are the very important MCQs that are very helpful for the student. Remaining chapter 2020 like this for every 3-3 chapters we will upload on our channel. Let us see top 20 MCQ questions for the chapter units of measurement as well as straight line and plane. The first from units of measurement. Physical quantity P is for the observable A, B, C, D. P is given. The find out the percentage, percentage error in P. The options are given. As well as we have given the solution of this question. The answer is B. That is 13%. Next question we will see. A ball is dropped from a building of height 40 meters. Simultaneously another ball is thrown up with velocity 20. The relative velocity of first ball with respect to the second ball if you see the 40 meter is the height both the ball first is freely falling other one is at the upward direction so how to find out this relative velocity of first and the same will be same relative velocity will not change under the action of same acceleration then answer is 20 meter per second next question the radius of 2.12 meter is given its area according to the significant rule figures. We know that how to find out the significant rules. The area we find and we got the answer 14.11 meter square. So you are getting the area of circle 4.112. The rounding off after rounding off the answer is 14.11. Next is Question number four, very important question. Calculate the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and a 70 kg man standing at the sea level and the distance of distance is given from the earth center. So if you calculate by using the force formula, so you will get the answer 685 newtons. This is a very important question. Next question is question number five. This is the latest question. Mostly this type of questions we are expecting this year from units of measurement. Normally we know the force formula F is equals to MA. There is another formula dimensional formula F equals to ML T power minus 2. So you need to find out the mass. By using this formula definitely you will get the mass. That already force is given just you have to substitute the length and the time you will get the answer for the mass next question is sixth one very important question a ball start moving in a eastward direction with a velocity of 35 meter per second and acceleration 10 meter per second is acting on a westward direction means opposite and the, what is the distance traveled by the particle in fourth second of its motion this is a very important question practice this question as well as we have given the solution for this you can check or you can take the screenshot the answer is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 seventh question very important the resultant of two forces one the double the other in magnitude and is perpendicular to the small of the two forces the angle of the angle between the two forces so if you take the first one is p and second is two times you will get sine theta as theta equals to 30 degree and it's normal and it's perpendicular that is 90 plus 30 that is 120 degree next question seventh eighth question a particle is moving in a straight line such that velocity is given and the average velocity you have to find out very important question we know the formula of average velocity x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1 by using this you will get the answer the velocity is given just what you have to do if velocity is given you need to find out the position so just integrate it you will get the answer and substitute in the formula you will get the answer question number nine very important question position x of a moving particle time t is given find out the initial and final velocity 
by using the same formula of differentiation x is given v equals to dx by dt just do the differentiation and you will get the velocity after that we know that for initial velocity time is zero and final velocity time is infinity substitute it you will get the answer the initial velocity is 18 and the final velocity is 6 next and the very important question a projectile is fired from the surface of the earth with velocity first velocity is given and the angle is 8 degree with the horizontal another projectile fired from the another planet with velocity 3 so we know the formula trajectory for same trajectory both should have horizontal range and maximum height so substituting in the formula you will get the answer u square by g equals to u square by g definitely you will get the acceleration due to gravity on the planet this is simple calculation you can use this one next question is 11th question very important question this question you haven't you have seen in your pre uh, in your colleges or in your schools they are asking this kind of question in your exa uh, in your pre final exams or your test very important question and the solution is also i have given here so you can take the screenshot of the solution and the answer is 2.5 meters 12th question given graph for a projectile shows the variation of velocity with time the maximum height of the projectile so by using the formula first calculate the initial velocity and after substitute in s is equals to ut plus half a t square the height formula you will get the answer next a car move on a circular path subject its speed is given v is equals to 40 where t is, is t is the time in second if the radius of the circular path is 2 meter acceleration of the car at t is equals to 2 seconds first find the acceleration of the circular path then after the using the formula of acceleration v is given dv by dt take out the magnitude this formula by using this formula you will get the answer very important question 14 question a particle a particle is moved for the first one third of the total time of journey with a speed of 30 km per hour see here it is given here the first time total time of journey for one minute a particle move one third of the total time with journey with time of journey with 30 km per hour with the speed 15 km per hour for the remaining time average speed of the journey so by using the formula total distance by total time the first distance you know the distance formula is speed into time first time is one third and second time is two third first time multiply with the speed and plus second time multiply with the is time a distance speed into time definitely you will get the answer 20 meter per second this is a very easy calculation total distance by total time taken average velocity this is a new type of question which are coming nowadays which are very important questions you can practice definitely you will get 15th question a particle is in a motion in a straight line with constant acceleration a and initial velocity average velocity during the time so this is the formula of average velocity distance by time by using this formula you can calculate you will get the answer v naught plus half a t very important question just practice or you can take the screenshot of this also next is 16th question very important a particle move in a straight line under constant acceleration the particle start from rest then the ratio of displacement in 5 second and 5th second you know that for the 5 second uh, use the formula s is equals to ut plus half a t square for 5th second the formula s n equals to u plus a by 2 to n minus 1 this is the s nth formula take out the ratio you will get the answer 17 question very important question a particle is projected with velocity 30 meter per second at an angle 30 degree with vertical vertical means the formula is u sin theta 30 degree equals to the speed of projectile when direction in the motion makes an angle 30 degree with horizontal equals to v cos theta the horizontal and vertical both are equal definitely you will get the answer of the velocity 18th question very important question a force of 10 newton of gravitational force in cgs is represented as 10 power 6 dynes next is 19th question a particle is thrown vertically up such that distance travel is in second and ninth second is same maximum height the formula of maximum height u square by g first find out time of flight time of flight total 10 seconds equals to u 
यू नो द फार्मूला ऑफ टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट टू यू बाई जी जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट यू विल गेट फाइव यू इक्वल्स टू फाइव जी सब्सिट्यूट इन द फार्मूला ऑफ मैक्सिमम हाइट यू स्क्वायर बाई जी यू विल गेट द आंसर वन मीटर्स लास्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ए मैन मूव्स ऑन ए हॉरिजेंटल रोड टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट ऑफ वन किलोमीटर रेन अपियर्स टू हिम फॉलोइंग वर्टिकली एट ए स्पीड जस्ट टेक आउट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बोथ यू विल गेट द टोटल स्पीड ऑफ द रेन दिस इज द फार्मूला थ्रो दिस यू कैन डू दिस कैलकुलेशन और यू कैन टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट अंडर रूट फाइव किलोमीटर पर आवर दिस इज ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट चैप्टर्स फॉर वर्क फॉर एनर्जी लाज ऑफ मोशन एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट चैप्टर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यूज वी विल अपलोड ऑन अवर चैनल दिस इज ब्रीफ फॉर मोर अपडेट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग